What's up guys, we are going to change the brake pads on this Nissan Sentra and I'm gonna make my brother-in-law do it. <laughs> well, at least gonna help him out, but we gotta change it. It's gonna be pretty easy. It's gonna be, changing the brake pads on the Sentra is, is basically the same thing on non Brembo 350Zs and I thought I'd make a video of it. All right. Is it tight? All right. Wait. Let's not look at it now. Look at the jack. It's not it's even not centered on it. No. Let's drag it up. And it's good. Go until it kind of lifts the car up. All right, stop. Now we gotta uh, loosen the lug nuts. All right. There you go. So this is for a lock, this is a wheel lock, uh -huh. and um, there's one on each wheel, specifically this, and you just use that for the rest of the lug nuts in this floor. Okay. So. Oh yeah. It's easier if you just, there we go. And then it's righty tiny, lefty loosey. Is it budging? Yeah. Alright. Cool. Huh? There we go. Let's break it loose. Alright. That's fine. That's all you need to do. You just want to break them loose because the car is not all the way in the air. Okay. Yeah, because the thing is... Um, Can you get the other ones? Yeah, because if you have it up in the air, it's not always easy because the wheel might spin. I'm trying to get the... Uh, yeah. All right, and so to change the brake pads right here, mm -hmm. we just gotta take this center part of, this is a, the rear caliper, or the, not the rear caliper, the front calipers. So this is that front part of it. Mm -hmm. You only have to take out the center section. I mean, there's bolts that hold this whole thing on there, but the center section is the only thing we need to do. Um, what I need to find out is what size bolts. If you look here, mm -hmm. bolt here. Yeah. The bolt here. Okay. These come out, and this thing just literally comes right out. And honestly, you can just loosen one and just pull one all the way out, and you can just slide it out. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. All right, so we just need to figure out what size it is. I'm going to go with a 16. Try 16. Maybe it's a 14. Might be a 14. 16 is too big. Look at that. 14. Just, uh, yeah, try breaking it loose. If you can break it loose, oh, it might be a little stuck on there. We'll find out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's gonna get to a point where it keeps spinning. You can just pull it out. Yep. All right. It's not gonna move. You're gonna have to break yeah. loose the bottom one. Okay. Do you want gloves? Sure. That way you don't get your hands super dirty. I mean, there's always water there. It's grease. It comes. It's kind of hard to get off. Okay. Look at the camera, by the way. Hi. So, what's your name? Evan. Nice. You might have to loosen it a little bit more. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Don't hit the car with the thing. You scratch it. All right, try now. Let me see. Watch out. Let me try. Oh. You're probably pulling here. Yeah. Right here. This, okay. That's all you need to pull out. Oops. You know what? Um. I need to take it off. Put that one bolt back in, this top one, and take the bottom one out all the way. Because the line is tight right here, uh -huh. so okay. it's not gonna let me pull it out. If I can, I should be able to pull upwards on it though. You can just tighten it by hand. It should be fine. Okay. All right, so now we swiveled it up. Okay, so these are the brake pads right here. Take these suckers out. There's one in the front, one in the back. So you kind of just pull it out. Slide it or slide it. Slide it out towards you. Okay. You might want to grab from the inside. There we go. 
Just lay that down. And there's one on the back side that does the same thing. No. There we go. Nice. And let's look at these. Damn, look how warm these are. Alright. Is there a metal plate on? Well, we'll find out. Yeah, they already have a metal plate. So, just take two, take one. Oh, they were kind of paired up. Yeah. Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, they do kind of matter. So that's the back, that's the front. Yeah, so I'll put the front on. Nope, other way, sir. So this sits in there for sure, there, there, right? Yeah. And that goes in underneath. Yeah. And gets pressured in. Is it sitting flush against the road on the inside? No. It's touching. Is it? Oh, you tell me. I can't see because you're on that side. Yeah. Now it's in. Mm -hmm. All right. Now do the back side. How old are you? Fifteen. 15. It's a sophomore high school. We're going to need a sequence. Okay. Alright, now what you got to do next is. Put that back there? No, this will not slide on over these because look how much thicker they are. Yeah. Compared to the ones. Uh -huh. Okay. So, what the deal is, you have to push this piston back. But before you do that, uh -huh. you physically cannot manhandle it. Yeah, no. <laughs> Alright, so first open the door. Watch the um make sure you don't hit this. Let's pop the trunk. Is that the oh, sorry not oh. the trunk, the hood. Pop the hood. That was my fault. I said I said trunk, it's my fault. It's a pull lever. Come on, use those glasses of yours to the left of the steering wheel. You want this? Down here. Look. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, and brake was a wall. This is it right here? Sure. So what you want to do is just open it. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's it. Because when we push the pistons back, mm -hmm. all the fluid in the line is going to push back. So you want to leave that open so it doesn't have pressure pushing against itself. Alright, so now what you're going to do next right. is, that's what the C-clamp is for. Alright, what I like to do is I like to take this, right there. my old one, mm -hmm. put it against that, and then basically clamp here and here, uh -huh. and then just keep tightening and tightening. And it will slowly push the piston back. So it's flush. I'm tightening this right here. Yeah. yeah. All right. So now you just put the piston back on, and basically you should just swivel over it. You might have to move it forward or backwards. Mm -hmm. And uh, there you now go. We have to back put on. The screw back in. And put the screw. Yep. Exactly. Oh, bolt. Not screw. It's a bolt. Okay. So yeah, you just tighten those bolts up. You lift the other, basically jack the car down, jack the other side up, repeat, rinse and repeat. And then uh, before you drive the car anywhere, you pump the brakes a bunch of times because the brakes are gonna feel super soft because the pistons all push back until it tightens up. And then after that, it's done. This guy almost dropped the damn car on his foot and broke it. That guy's how you change his brake pads. Um, this will work on the 350Z. Uh, it's exactly the same if you don't have Brembo um, brakes on your Z. Uh, what else? Let me face this way. That's it. Once you get the wheels back on, just pump the brakes. Simple as that. I know some people will probably watch my channel um, 
know how to do this already, but I've actually had questions about how do I get into stuff like this. Well, I thought at least I like to do these how to's just so I can help those people that want to get into doing stuff to their car because uh, you got to start somewhere and uh, hope these things help you. Um, anyways, I guys hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button down below, comment, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for another video. Peace. Ah!